Real quick, uh, I just want to um, uh, introduce the band real quick. I already introduced Niles, but uh, we also, because usually we have uh, Noel, Noel, Stephen, and the Darlings, that's their, their house band, but we figured me and Noel together would be too much white twee for t this <laughs> evening, so uh, we enlisted these guys. We got Niles Gray, like I said earlier, 5-1. We got Jesse Night Swanger. We got Case Buttery. Casey Buttery. We got Kelly Caston. We got Duffy James. They're fantastic. Glad to have you guys. Our next performer, another uh, song missing favorite, Mark Kendall. He's a guy over at Dad's Garage. He's a real, real great guy. I'm glad we have him here. And he played Kanye West in a show at the Fox, actually. So I yes. knew we needed to have him here for this. Uh, this is his bio. Mark Kendall is an Atlanta comic who, like Kanye West, grew up enjoying both teddy bears and Air Jordans. Yeah. So he said, and he's, he's excited to talk about Kanye tonight. That's how he ends his bio. Excited to talk about Kanye tonight. <laughs> Don't let him down, guys. Without any further ado, Mark Kendall and the band. Open it all. She has no idea what she's doing in college. The major that she thinks she didn't know make no money. But she won't drop out parents and look at her funny death. Tell me that ain't insecure. The concept of school seems so secure. Sophomore three years ain't fit to convert. She's like, fuck it, I'ma stay down here with new hair. Cause that's enough money to buy her a few years of new years. And baby daddy don't really care. She's so precious. We did pressure, couldn't afford a car, so she didn't do nothing. I like that she had hair so long that it looked like me. And she cut it all off, now she looked like me. And she's dealing with some issues that you can't believe. Single black female, addicted to female. Well, so much fun, so great. How can I communicate that to you all like in this instant? And I was like, all right, I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna pass out cupcakes to the audience. Let's play that cupcake song. conventional, he's at his most relatable, you know what I'm saying? Today, today Kanye, he like raps gibberish in some of his lyrics. 
You know what I'm saying? It's like it's tough to understand them. But it's weird because Kanye is so talented. He can use gibberish in his lyrics and I still understand what he's saying. You know, it's kind of like me right now. I started going to gibberish like, see a dot, a see a It must amount, it must amount, it must amount, bread, ba 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 ba, bread sandwich, bread, ba 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 ba, bread sandwich, bread, ba 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 ba, bread, ba 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 ba, bread divorce. Atlanta, Atlanta, traffic. Atlanta Hawks, swish. Atlanta Hawks, swish. First round, swish. Second round, swish. Conference finals, mm mm mm. <laughs> Black people, blah blah blah. White people, blah blah blah. Green people don't exist. <laughs> Kroger bread, two ninety nine. Publix bread, four ninety nine. What you do, Publix? What you do, Publix? Kroger blueberries, three ninety nine. Publix blueberries, six ninety nine. What you do, Publix? <laughs> but it still makes sense, it's really weird. You understand what he's talking about. But this song, All Falls Down, man, originally it was called Self Conscious, that's what it was about. You know what I'm saying? Like, he brings up all these things that he's self conscious about. And it's just like, I'm thinking about the things that I'm self conscious about. Like, earlier today, I was in Target, and all I bought was some Listerine and a big old thing of paper towels. And the whole time I'm thinking to myself, man, everyone here must think that all I do is clean up spills from the mouth that I spit, from the mouthwash that I spit out. They must think that I'm really messy, but they don't understand I can do so many other things. You don't know what this paper towel is for. Stop trying to make assumptions. I'm having these crazy conversations in my head all the time. Kanye West, he was that kid in school. He was that kid in school who wasn't like the cool kid, he wasn't the jock. He was the kid that'd be at the party and he'd take everyone key, everyone's keys to make sure that they were okay. And then, without asking, he'd take everyone's keys and make it into a wind chime. And then he'd be like, Kanye, it's really cool that you made wind chimes out of keys. I didn't expect to enjoy it, but I did. How could I get my keys back? And then he just says, download title. <laughs> Kanye does that sometimes. He'll just be like, <laughs> out of nowhere, several times in a song. And I love it. But if I were Kanye, if I was singing a song, opening myself up, I would just drop one, <laughs> just out of nowhere, and then never do it again. Because the whole time the audience would be like, oh man, what's he going to say it again? You never know. <laughs> just don't really ever know. Man, college dropout is probably like one of my favorite kind of albums because he's just like, he's just so relatable. The funny thing about the music video is, you know, you got Common has a cameo in there, you got Kanye West in there, Stacey Dash is in the music video, which is uh, funny because I don't know if you know about this, Stacey Dash questioned the validity of Black History Month not too long ago. Yeah, and it's funny because she's in the one music video that has the best chance of being played every February for the rest of eternity. <laughs> Just because the song is really interesting in the way that Kanye and Kanye's way, he looks at class and race in a way that's very, very interesting, right? And, and the way, when I say the way in, in which Kanye does it, he has very frank dialogue, but at the same time, combining these elements that you wouldn't normally think uh, go together. So I wanted to try to do my version uh, of that, so I'm gonna sing a song for you all about a shark. <laughs> I'm ready to sing a song about a shark. Yeah. 